Here's why you should bench press to build big boobies. We're gonna make an argument and talk about how to build chest, why I do it with free weights, and why all your favorite influencers are straight up wrong. A couple issues when we talk about building the pecs. The basics work, and for many a reason. Some semantics, but some are true. One of the bigger overarching theories and things I want you to all think about is whatever your favorite influencer, steroids or not, is doing today is not what they have done for the last 10 years to build the physique of today. How they train chest the last two months has literally zero to do with what your physique looks like today, right? On a cellular level and on just a logical level, it takes years to build tissue into the form you want. One, because it literally just takes time to build muscle. Two, genetically, how those muscles look has almost zero to do with the exercise itself. We can build muscle and we can shrink muscle, and that's about it. We can't form tissue, despite the beautiful, you know, th philosophy of, of, of architecture and molding your physique into what you want. Genetics are gonna play an overarching rule. So, that not only has to do with muscle bellies, what's more likely to build or not, but also anatomically leverages what works best with what exercise. Just blanket statement saying the bench isn't good for building your pecs is one of the dumbest things in the world. If you look at all the biggest bench pressers in history, they all have huge pecs, and they spend 80 to 90% of their time on a flat barbell bench. Sure, they'll do some accessories, but it's just not the case. And again, if you look at where your favorite guy, C-Bum, whoever is now, versus what they've done the last 10, 5, 20 years, chances are they were bench pressing. And that's what helped build the foundation of what they're at now. A lot of people blame range of motion, or at least the stretch, right? When we're trying to build muscle, we need proximity to failure. Pushing ourselves near failure will recruit more muscle fibers to grow. Two, we want a hard contraction, right? The shortening of the muscle, and we want a nice stretch, a lengthening of the muscle. And people blame the bench press for that range of motion, right? Depending on how thick you are, you might not get a huge stretch because the bar is gonna stop here. But the main issue is how I see 95% of people doing machines or dumbbells, they're getting the same range of motion, if not less than they would with a bench press because it's an arbitrary space that they're trying to reach. If dumbbells, or if you're too strong and dumbbells are too big, some of these hundreds are so thick, no matter what I do, this dumbbell is gonna hit my chest sooner and closer than the handle would with the bench. With the weights hat being on the outside, I can for sure touch the barbell to my chest. But as you'll see in some of the demos, you'll the barbell, the weight of the dumbbell will hit my chest before that range of motion is even further. Obviously, lighter weights are a little bit smaller and you can get a little bit of a stretch. You can obviously change your angle to, to, to get a deeper stretch. And I still am a huge proponent of machines and of bench, of inclined dumbbell bench to get a stretch. But how I see y'all doing it you might as well bench press, handle more weight, have more progression over time, and still you'll get more of a contraction and stretch than the poor, crappy form I see y'all doing on machines. Choosing your exercises, obviously we're looking for some kind of press or two, some kind of fly. That'll cover most of your basics. Which ones, which machines, which exercises, which feel best on your muscles, feel best on your joints, and which you can progressively overload the best. So a barbell is just simply easier to progressively overload because we can Move more weight with two hands than we can, one. And even being a technical bencher, you will build your chest. Now, I don't suggest that everyone does a high arching bench if your number one goal is bodybuilding, but I'm just saying that the slander on bench press is way overdrawn. And all these people are supposedly evidence-based trainers. They can't find me data, calling them all out, that specifically shows a stable surface like a machine or a stable exercise versus a free weight will build more muscle. There's simply just not the data on it. So, this are one of my favorite. I have two pressing days a week. Both start with the bench press. One, because I think it is best for progressive overload. Two, because I want to keep a base level of strength, which I think then transfers to the other exercises I do in push. So if you're stronger on bench, I'll be able to utilize more musculature, more muscle fibers when I'm doing dips, when I'm doing dumbbells, when I'm doing machines. Hence, progressively overloading strength will build more muscle over time. And on my secondary day, I do dips, and then I'll finish off with some flies. The last and final factor is that we're enjoying what we're doing. If you're choosing exercises you absolutely hate, you really enjoy the barbell bench press, but we're focusing on the dumbbell because someone said that it's gonna build slightly more pectoral fiber muscles in our hypertrophy mission, it's probably not gonna be worth your time. Enjoy what you do, do it for a very long time, take it, take it close to failure, eat your protein, take your vitamins, subscribe to Silent Mike, 
and maybe you'll have some pecs in time. Ladies and gentlemen, 3SB.co, our biggest Black Friday ever coming soon. So, goodcompanydiscord.com if you want to get involved on the exclusives, the early good dibs. Oh, papa. Oh, papa. <laughs> early look and discounts, like minded community, Good Company Discord. I'll see y'all in there. I'm in there every single day. New videos every Monday, man. Salam, Mike. I appreciate y'all. We over me. Be a part of something bigger than yourself, man. We're out.